We got uh, Harold from Hollywood, who actually we spoke to last, <laughs> last week, week, who had called after Judy. And um, he promised he'd call back at the same exact back. time. I can't believe it. Yeah. Hey, hey, Harold, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm wow, you sound like a different person. Yeah. I feel like a different. Person. Well, let's say let's go back again. A week ago, Harold called up. He um, was smoking a little too, too sounded, much. Sounded a little drunk. Yes, yeah, maybe smoking a little too much pot. You had a job interview on Monday, or uh, no, no, I, I I had a job. But okay. Basically, I I wasn't making near my earning potential because I was avoiding drug tests, like like I imagine a lot of people are. <laughs> so so I've just made a decision last week. I've been listening to you guys for about two or three weeks now. I've just called in and made a commitment, and I stuck with it. Like it was tough. It was really really tough. Like anxiety. I had issues sleeping. I didn't catch an appetite till Thursday, but I made it through it. It would have been easier to smoke, but. I made it through it. It was, it was really good. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Harold. That's awesome. How are you feeling about that? Oh, it's, I feel like a new person. And, and really, like like I told you, I really didn't have a support system because a lot of people I know smoke marijuana, but that, everybody was really supportive. Once they told them I, I, I made a decision that I was stopping, it was no pressure at all. It was just everybody was really happy for me. And it's, it's really good. It was, it was so, so tough until about Wednesday or Thursday. Like, I'm telling you, the... Just anxiety and just uh, it's it's just so ingrained. It's so habitual. You know what I'm saying? That, Absolutely. But I made it through it. That's and you know what I, I love, Harold? You know what I love about your call right now is that if somebody just tuned on, tuned in like uh, 30 seconds ago, they would have thought you were talking about, you know, because we always think of marijuana as not this dangerous or not this bad, and they would have thought, oh, you're talking about heroin, or but you're talking about marijuana and the effects that it had on you. Well, now, now I do want to get you guys' take on this because while I have to completely stop smoking marijuana, I'm still smoking cigarettes and I'm having a beer when I get off work, maybe two, but no more than that. And I want to know how is that, like, should I taper down as the as time goes on or is that healthy or, you know. You know, Harold, you know I, think? I, I think that one of the things that I noticed right away from your conversation, one is that you sound so much better. So obviously not smoking marijuana is an amazing difference for you. Um, anxiety is pretty normal and not being able to sleep when you stop using drugs is that's a pretty common symptoms. Um, and you know, when people come in our, to our rehab, that's one of the first things we treat people with is during detox is, uh, give them something that's non-narcotic that makes it possible for them to sleep. Um, but what I have to say is that, uh, you know, you're mentioning anxiety being a presenting problem and sleeping a presenting problem. Alcohol is one of the most commonly used substances to self-medicate anxiety. And more people end up having a problem with alcoholism because they have a problem with anxiety than any other single reason. Um, probably depression is right along there with there. Depression and anxiety. Well, so, I was listening earlier. And I don't. I don't. The, the guy from the major crimes. Uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. He said, uh -huh. he said something that was very interesting. Like, like I was, he was using alcohol to kind of cope with his his uh, self induced misery. His fear. And, yeah, and I don't, I don't know if that's part of it, or if I just need something to kind of take the edge off to look forward to when I get home, or what exactly what. But it just feels so good. You just said it. You wanted that. something to take the edge off, and previously you used to do pot of marijuana to take the edge off. That's gone now, so you still have the edge, and that edge is based on fear. You know, it's like when I said self-induced misery, it's basically just you know my filling up with fear. Feeling so incredibly uncomfortable, and thinking, and that's right, what anxiety is. Anxiety yeah. is fear. It's right. it's right. some of it subconscious, and some of it you know why you feel that way. But a lot of it's subconscious, and it comes across as anxiety and fear. That's what my sponsor, Marty, talks about all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's basically, uh, it's a it's a on for me. Every, it's an everyday. I don't want to say struggle, because it becomes easier sometimes to deal with it but uh, or because i know how to do with it it's just how quickly i get to get get around to it. it's a constant it's a constant uh, contest between uh faith in what my program is all about and all the stuff that i've learned the spirituality of it and fear and uh, it's constant it's ongoing for the rest of my life and that's okay i'm up for the challenge you know, uh, I can do it. And just like the challenge, Harold, that you were talking about the first four or five days without marijuana, 
you know, maybe, you know, like maybe it is a good time since you're feeling great. And like Andrew said, you sound great. Maybe do try a 12 step meeting. What's the worst thing that could happen is that you don't like it. But you might meet people there that are sharing the same things that are going on in your life right now. Well, you know, I think kind of staying away from the 12 steps, that, that was a big motivating factor because it was like, if I can't do this, then I really have a problem. It's bigger than I thought. You know what I'm saying? And, right. Uh, I just took on a role of the Marvel man, and I kind of embraced it, as you guys said last week, and I'm, I'm, we're just going to get through it. Okay. Whatever we got to get through it, we're going to get through it, and I feel great. Man. Okay, I I'll tell you what, Harold, we got to run, but give us a call next week and let us know. I mean, I really so appreciate you calling in and letting us know how it's going, and I'll, you're helping a lot of people out there right now by the, the courage that it takes for you to call in and, t- and talk to us about this. I I really appreciate you guys. I don't know if I would have been able to do it this week without knowing that it was a support system out there, even if I didn't know. And I really appreciate Queen Radio with a K and and what you guys are doing. This is a 100% real call. I'm a real person. And I just, I love you guys, man. Right back at you. So we'll hear from you next week, Harold? Definitely. Okay, Cool. cool.